Hey guys, and how's it going? So, we're now into the medium section of the obstacle course. And the first one I'm looking at is called Two Times. Hopefully it won't be two times as painful as the last easy one that I did. Okay, so uh, use one module, creating two automated test steps to click the button two times in a row. Click, click, okay, that's, that's cool, alright. One module, two automated test steps. Dynamic ID, regular expressions, regular expression. When you think of regular expressions, think of an asterisk. So, module's easy. Two times, and it is that. Okay. New folder. Two times. Is that the way I used to do it? Number, colon, step. Okay. F2 to open that up. Control C. And let's create a folder in here called Obstacles Medium. And right click, create a test case, give it the same name, okay? So go to the modules, we right click on that, and we say, actually, maybe we could use keyboard shortcuts. Alt key, M for modules. SC for scan, and choose the first one. Okay, so we can see a few things on the screen. Click scan. That's my chair, by the way, which I'm probably going to break because I've put on a few kilos over Christmas. So if you go select on screen, condense that. We want to click one module, create one module, boom, let's say that's finished, okay, click on it again, and let's scan that screen, click once more, and then we'll say we're finished, okay, click on that, that's, okay, that's great, advanced, close, okay. See what we got. We got two modules. Click me second time. Click me once more. So let's see the difference over here. We're looking over here now, guys, okay? In the properties. So apart from a creator that and a unique ID, which we can ignore. Do you see the difference? That's right, the ID. It'd be nice to be able to zoom in on that kind of stuff, but um, I don't know how. I'd have to do that in editing, which I like to avoid doing because it's very time consuming. So I want to create one module. and So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that one. And I know that this number is the one that's changing. So I'm going to asterisk on that, okay? So now if it sees a button with an ID of RND, it's gonna go, yeah, I'll hit that one. Okay, um, we could change that to something else, like click me, click me, yeah, click me, okay. So now let's drag that into our test case. And uh, just do an L click on that, and do a copy, right click, paste and click on that as well let's see if that runs click click super duper okay that was great now I'm not going to reinvent the world so I recommend you watch any of these videos here they're in the playlist if we go grab find and fill, let's take that. Like this is what automation is about, guys. It's not about like manually recreating everything all over again, right? Hey, 
paste that in there. Let's grab the URL, right? Open the URL. Let's just change it here. By the way, I'm not freezing to death in my um, subterranean Swiss bunker. I've actually got an electric heater here trying to keep me warm. And this is from Find and Fill, which we don't need. Let's just drag our little step down here like that. Move it up above the verify. Post, we just close the browser, okay. Um, if we go in here, it's a click and a click. Is that everything? Let's, um, let's give it a go. F6 it. Super. That worked. We got our verification. Loving it, guys. All right, listen. I need to. Uh, I need to go. Subscribe. Need it. Family needs it. All right. See you later. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Cheers. Bye.